Hello everyone, welcome to Story Retold. Kalina here, and uh, something just dropped from her interactive uh, in their newsletter today. It is April 1st, yes, take that with a grain of salt. Um, now, kudos to It's Locked Podcast, Gooba and Jetpack, and Hugh Miller of Nancy Drew Walkthroughs for jumping on this really fast. I noticed them first, uh, but I'm sure everyone who is just now waking up today, <coughs> excuse me, are going to be seeing this email if you're subscribed to the newsletter, which perks for those of you who are actually following on the newsletter. That is one of the ways that they announce things. So let's take a look at this. What we have is a very different stylized coloration than their typical brand. They never really do it. Their colors are their pinks and whites and sometimes black. Uh, the official newsletter, newsletter um, is calling out April, which is uh, Na Nancy Drew's anniversary. Back in 1930, the first three Nancy Drew books were released on April 28th. So that's what we're celebrating here. This, uh, what is this? Okay, hang on. We're going to click through all the links and uh, take a look and see what this goes to. Okay, uh, I'm just bringing up this. It leads to the main website. Okay, no problem. Uh, April is fan month. Nancy Drew turns 30. Okay, and that just clicks on the picture. Um, Hugh Miller actually called out the different backgrounds, which is very interesting. Yes, tile. Um, and I, I should put a disclaimer on here. I did work on some secret stuff before I left the company a couple years ago, and I do know a little bit about what's to come in their future. That being said, I am still under NDA and can't say much. So everything I'm about to say is um, either things to clue in on or I am just responding to, and uh, I, can, I can help point you in more directions for clues. Now, knowing some of the behind the scenes operations and how, and I still know a lot of the people who still work at Her Interactive, so I know some of their tendencies, preferences, interests, and how they like to message things. So when they tease out anything, it's, it's intentional. Um, they will not say anything concrete or even alluding to things unless they are confident that what they're leading up to is going in the direction that they're that they're actually cluing into. It's like they're not going to change it um, going down the line. So if they're showing stuff, this is probably more concrete than you think. Uh, so tiling, I mean, it could be just a background. It could be something actually from a game. It really could be. You know what I'm thinking? I think it is an actual game screenshot. Okay, and then clicking on this. Oh, look, we can click on an actual image from, like, Google or something. 93 years old. Okay, great. That's interesting. Um, and then, oh, we can, what does this do? It downloads. What did it download? Did it download something? Let me take a look at my downloads. Just checking. Unnamed PNG. Oh, it's just the image. All right, and then we click on, you can shop their merch. So you can see I've got my browser up right there. Trivia, what does Nancy make to call Minette? Now, Hugh Miller, I remember watching his video, he did call out the miscolored, uh, they're slightly colored, uh, oops, can I, I'm not zooming in the right spot, hang on. Okay, you can kind of see that the T here, T H T H I and then we keep going down here. R, third, thirty. There's a Y. F, O, U, R. Thirty-four, which is spelling out the number thirty-four about the next game. Uh, and looking at this tile here, this looks not like something they would typically just use for graphic design or branding. Same with this up here, and I'll get into that in just a minute. And then same with this background. It's your day, Saturday, April 1st morning. Now there's a video icon right here. So if we click on that, where does that lead to? It leads to their Instagram page, which like Hugh called out in its your walkthroughs that there are zero posts. Now that was interesting. Um, <clears throat> And if you look, continue on through the messages here, 
If you read this letter that was typed up, Dear Fellow Sleuths, my birthday's coming up this month and I've been thinking real hard about something I could give you to thank you for coming along on every case. I've been told that I'm not the best gift giver, but I figured I could let you in on a little secret. I'm picking up my magnifying glass again and already packing my bags. Join me on my next great mystery. Be on the lookout for our case our case file. I can't wait. So this I'm gonna I'm gonna take this literally. Be on the lookout or join me on my next great mystery game 34 be on the lookout for our case file case file combined with this my birthday's coming up something to give you i'm thinking and this is speculation i don't actually know i'm thinking they're gonna drop some information maybe even a video alluding to more information on april 28th that's just my guess I think, I think that's what they're teasing at here, that they're going to be showing something and it might be video related. Um, it might be something they're going to share on Instagram because that's where it links to. But if we continue down here and we look that there's highlighted letters here as well, they're in reddish color. There's Y, U, O, U. So it says U, V, B, B, N, H, Oh, so there's C, K, E, D. You've been hacked. Um, which if we, I mean, go to, go back to, where did my other browser go? Here it is. Going back to this, it looks like, oh no, they've been hacked. Which, don't read too much into. Just remember the theme of hacking. Just, just remember that, okay? Um, there is a way to actually... Um, archive multiple posts at once through Instagram, which is this page right here in their help center. And then you can also, depending on which device you're using, uh, this is an Android help guide. There's also Instagram Lite and iPhone help. Uh, you can unarchive here, so they'll probably uh, re-show all their stuff later. I mean, there, there's ways of doing this, but to, to allude to the fact that, um, or to make the impression that they've been hacked, is, is, a, is a key element that you need to remember for the future. All right, so shall we look back? If we go to Amateur Sleuth, there's there's nothing new here since this, which actually helped create a puzzle for on that particular day. If we go back to, don't miss another social post, never know what post will post, what will post next, okay. Yeah, keep an eye on their social media. Um, what did Camille Hurley like to collect? She likes dolls. What does the R stand for in Silent Spy? Um, Revenant. Uh, where does Nancy meet a pet cat? Uh, well, she... She meets, um, Yuri in Titusville, but, I mean, you could also say the robot cat in a Deadly Device and also, uh, Shadow of the Water's Edge, but the real cat is in, uh, Titusville. Does it mention the answers down here? Usually it would. Why is this... <gasps> Hidden clues are the key. This is also a play on words. Keys. You know, you gotta keep that in mind too. Trivia answer. Oh, okay, can I click on this? There's no trivia answer. Can I highlight anything else? This is clever. This was a trick I used to do all the time. Hide things. Hidden clues are key. That's awesome. Uh, but no answer. I don't see. I can't click on it. There's a little detective emoji there, which is cool. Okay, so I wanted to get back to this, though. Looking at the backgrounds, these tiles could be anything. Really. Uh, interesting choice to use as a backdrop for graphic design because they don't quite match any branding. Uh, but if you look at at this one. <clears throat> if we zoom in just a little bit, you can see the spire here against a backdrop. And using the clues that we already have um, about potentially the next game, like in Midnight in Salem at the end when Nancy teases out, oh, maybe we should go to Austria w uh, with Ned. Um, that's an idea. So I did a quick search and I know that they use Canva 
and I used to use it too, uh, as well as Photoshop. When it comes to creating uh, graphics and stuff, you can see my graphics here. I did a quick search in Canva, uh, what available images that they had when it came to typing in Austria, castle, cathedral, spire. And all of them kind of turned up the similar thing here. This is St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna. And so if I zoom in, it kind of looks like it, but I mean, it's also quite not. I'm trying to compare the two because if you super zoom in on this, there's like these little bumps along the edges here. And then these uh, long spires kind of going around it. And then another set of row of spires down here. So that's what it kind of looks like, but I'm not seeing any pictures online that perfectly match it. So what that means is it could be representative of St. Stephen's Cathedral, and it could be this just simplified, gamified, um, artistic design uh, of, of that castle. Or you could call it a castle. It's really a cathedral. It's a church, old Gothic church. So you can take a look at that. Um, can I confirm or deny what that actually is? And if that's actually a location, hmm, I'm going to say maybe, and I'm saying maybe because since working, since it's been like two years since I've worked for them, things could have changed. But my speculation, yeah. So what does this mean? I think it means you need to be paying close attention to the newsletter and also their social media posts, especially their Instagram posts, because things have happened there and they're alluding to it. And also, I would check back on all of their accounts on April 28th, just to be sure. Because Saturday, April 1st morning, I mean, that's today, but you never know. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts? What are your speculations? What do you think? Um, again, kudos to those of you who are really onto this and are already jumping on the search for what uh, this could possibly mean. And we'll just keep an eye out. Maybe later this month there will be something. Thanks for watching. Happy sleuthing.